Hello and good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin' and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for um, the move to Friday. Just was doing the scoop on uh, yesterday, just kind of, I needed, or Wednesday. So scoop got moved from Tuesday to Wednesday. Need a little extra day to, for today. So I thought trying to do a um, gift, or not a gift card, a uh, Christmas card you know, if you, if you really liked it, to try and order the product and then try to write them all out, get them out, might not be the best idea. So I thought right around now, you know, you know I'm sure you're all ordering your your um, Christmas gifts and holiday gifts for other people. You need tags. So I thought I'd show you a quick, quick, simple way to make up a whole bunch of tags kind of easily, but still have a bit of a wow to them. Um, so that's what I thought we would do today. I thought it'd be a little fun. So these are the tags we're gonna make. Um, they're little, you know, they're you know little tags, but they kind of got a little wow to them. And I'll show you how to make them quick. Kind of, you kind of make all four at once. Um, so that is what we're gonna do today. And today we have. I have to also. Full, full disclosure here. I've been up since 2 a.m. My uh, son, I don't think had gone to sleep, bumping around, woke me up. So I'm seeing a nap in my near future, but <clears throat> I'm also starting <laughs> like googly eyed. So I'm probably not going <laughs> to talk well. And if I screw stuff up, names and stuff, just just roll with it today. Today we're, we're kind of sleepy. So I apologize in advance. Um, so <clears throat> with that said, I like to do a giveaway to say thank you uh, <clears throat> for all for joining in, dealing with my craziness. Today's giveaways, if you leave a comment, and it can be as simple as a hi, um, at the end of today's broadcast, I'm gonna give away a Blackberry Bliss ink pad. For some reason, I have like tons of them. I don't know if I went on an ordering spree or what, but I have three that are in use, so. I have a whole sealed one I'm going to give away. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, so again, all you have to do is leave a comment and this is going to be during the live. So that's only on Facebook. And if you are watching this on a shared broadcast, and that can even be in the Crafty Stampin' VIP group, go over to Crafty Stampin' on my page and leave the comment there. I'm not pulling from other locations. Some of them I can't get to. So leave a comment on craftystampin.com on this video. If you do not win the stamp pad or you are watching it later on either Facebook or YouTube, because it'll be uh, loaded up to YouTube, uh, leave a comment and you can win the Little Ladybug stamp set. And that is from last year's celebration. And it was one of the rare ones, but very popular. And I will give that away next week, um, hopefully on Thursday. And if you share this video to any social media platform and then come back and type the word shared in a comment, either on YouTube or on Facebook, I will add you for a second entry to win the little ladybug. Ooh. Okay, so let's do last week's giveaway, or two weeks ago, because last week we were off for Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, ate too much food, I know I did. Um, we have the All Adorned Stamp Set. So I see everyone, hi, 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 hi. Um, the All Adorned Stamp Set. So I'm gonna flip over here to uh, random.org and I've got everyone's name in here and you'll see some names are doubled and those are the people who shared the video and I thank you for that. So I'm gonna click randomize and the name that comes to the top of the list will be our winner. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, Sherry Everett. Congratulations, Sherry. Sherry's in my downline. Yay! Sherry, do me a favor and fill out the form so that I don't have a complete mental breakdown and forget. So Sherry and anyone else who has won something in the past, hold on, I can find the right spot. Um, head over to craftystampin.com and I see Sherry had logged on. So uh, hope, go up to specials, giveaways, and then there is a button whenever this decides to come up. Come on. And, oh boy, we're slow today. Oh, computer's slow. 
and click the claim your prize button fill out the form and i will get that out to you i am running a little behind on that i think last week's are still waiting so <clears throat> sherry congratulations and for those people who just pop on let me just give you a quick look at this is what we're going to be making we're making some quick tags we're going to be using the christmas is gleaming stamp set as well as the brightly gleaming uh dsp this entire bundle um, I have a few others that I've made with some other stuff to show, but these are the, the kind of real quick ones we're going to be doing. And real quick, here are the giveaways if you just popped in. So please leave a comment and I will add you in for that. So here we go. Bring you back down, down here. So here are the um, tags. I will tell you, I goofed myself. But you, it's one of those ones, this, this goof particularly wouldn't matter because these would go on all different um, tags. These are all supposed to be two and uh, three quarters inch tags. Tags. Well, I cut two at two and three quarters. And then for whatever reason, I cut one at two and a half. So you can see it's a little shorter. <laughs> so that means this one's three inches. So, and it doesn't matter. So this is what we're going to make. And we're going to make them real quick. So what we're going to do over here. I'm starting with a full sheet. Let me zoom you out a smidge here. Hold on. You can see the. All right. So I have a full sheet of a Knight of Navy that I have scored. So I have scored it at. So here's the eight and a half side. I have scored it at four and a quarter. I'm going to leave it like this for right now. Um, and also, just as a reminder, or if you're new, on my uh, website, craftystamp.com, in about an hour, there will be a recap of uh, blog post and it will have a downloadable, P downloadable PDF. I'm gonna have trouble today, I know it, <laughs> I apologize. Um, and it is gonna have all the cut size, it'll have a picture, it'll be in color, because your color printers might work, mine's decided not to. Um, and it'll have a list of all the supplies I use and a place to take some notes. So that is getting smaller. I'm sorry. <laughs> but so that you don't have to take as many notes. And I'm wearing one of these. I don't know if you guys get these cool, I don't know if you see cool sweaters that have like these big bell sleeves. They are terrible for anything other than standing and looking cute. Um, they're terrible for crafting, for cooking, for eating. Because um, they get into everything. So let me go roll this up so I don't get it all in ink. Um, here we go. Okay. So... I got a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 that I've scored at the four and a quarter. So I'm gonna flip this over. This is gonna be my inside. And I have a piece of very vanilla. And I'm gonna move this so I just don't get sealed. So I got stamp and seal. I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna run this a full length all the way along. And so, like I guess so this is my front, so this is the front of my tags. And then you're going to open it, and this is going to be the inside. So I'm going to place this along the inside. Boom. Now I'm going to grab a... Oops. I'm going to grab a scrap grid so they don't make a mess. And I'm going to grab... Over here... So I'm going to start first, I've got Knight of Navy ink, and like I said, I'm using the entire Brightly Gleaming. So this is the Christmas Gleaming stamp set. I'm going to start with this ornament, and I'm going to stamp that in Knight of Navy on Knight of Navy. Okay. I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to start uh, kind of off. And I'm just going to go across the entire piece. I'm purely just trying to add a little dimension to the background. You know, no, not a lot of care with where it's going, just sort of trying to fill in, fill in the blanks there. Okay. Next, I'm taking a piece of the Brightly Gleaming uh, DSP, and all it's it's two inches. I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the Very Vanilla, and I'm just gonna run 
and along the entire way. Boom. Bring this back, and now I'm going to attach this down here. It's like I'm making one really big card. Perfect. I'm going to trim this edge off. It hangs over because I didn't. I just cut it two inches, so two inches by twelve. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to remember before I go folding, I need my fold. Da, 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 da. Yep. All right. So I got my inside and my outside. All right. So now I get my Stampin' trimmer, and I'm gonna just cut through everything at two and three quarters. My. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. All right, so now I have four little cards. And they already have a place on the inside to write. Bum, bum, bum. Easy, easy, easy. Um, and this is also where you do want to keep it simple. Like if I had backed this. Um, DSP before I put it down just to give it a little more color out of this place. Then it gets harder to run through these the trimmer to cut. So I'm just keeping it, you know, there's a double sided here and there's double sided. Uh, so two pieces of cardstock and a piece of cardstock and a piece of DSP. The stamp and trimmer will go through that just fine. So while I have these here, I'm going to be grabbing the detailed trio stamp set and I'm going to use this. Um, I don't even know what this is for. Little hole, and I'm gonna punch, stick it through. Punch, and so that's gonna be my little hole to put a ribbon in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two, three, and four. So now I've got a place for the hole for the ribbon. All right, I'm gonna set these aside real quick. I'm gonna get. So I've got another piece of very vanilla, and I think this is two and a half, two by 11, okay. And this time I'm grabbing the Pretty Peacock ink, and I have the, which is the same greeting, uh, and be jolly this season. And because I like the size of it. All right. So I'm gonna stamp this four times. One, two, three. Ah! If you do it better, you can do it. Let me see. I may have, may have just screwed that one up. We'll see. And then I'm gonna take old olive and this uh, ornament, and I'm gonna stamp lightly in the middle of the greeting. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the story label punch and we're gonna see if I screwed it up by spacing them too far apart. So I'll line this up. One, two, three. Oh, did I screw it up? Did I screw it up? Uh, can I make it work? It's so close. I made it work. Again, it's like a little flat on either side. One of those, they're never gonna notice. Never gonna notice. Never gonna notice. Never gonna notice. All right, so that's that. Put those aside. Now I have the gleaming ornaments. So these are, there's two ornaments. There's one that matches the small one that we put in the middle, and then there's this bigger one. So here's another piece of the DSP. And we're just gonna punch these real quick. I'm gonna punch four of them. One. Two, 
three, four. And then, and this step you don't have to do if you don't want to. Here's a piece of um, copper foil. And what I want to do is just punch the top. So it's like the little ornament holder. And I'm just going to do that four times. So I'm just going to stick this in here. I say this is probably the most detailed portion of this. And you don't really have to do it if you're doing lots and lots. If you're just doing the four, it's not that bad. If you were doing a lot of them, I wouldn't want to do, do this. Three. Ah, come on. And four. All right. So what I find something like this is to, it's quickest to add with the glue dots. So I find where my glue dots start. I take this and I'm just going to attach it to my glue dot. Boom. Boom. All right. So now, let's see. So we've got done stamping. I can move this. All right. So here's my ornaments. Ah, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to take them. I, mean, I find I can maneuver it better by putting it on the tip of the take a pick tool. And we're just going to attach. Oops. Oh, my goodness. If it doesn't pop off the take a pick tool first, that was a first. All right, one, two. Oh, where'd they go? There we go. Three. Come on, there we go. And four. All right, so there are our four ornaments. And so now we're just going to assemble. And because these are tags, I wasn't putting them on dimensionals. You know, I always love to bump stuff up, but um, being on a tag and probably getting moved around, um, I didn't want to put them on. Uh, dimensionals but for they might fall apart because they're getting manhandled so one, two three and four and then the same here one two, three, four, and I'm just going to add, and to just add a bit of interest, I am having these stick off the edge a smidge. If you were trying to fit them in an envelope or something, you don't have to do that. You could stick them right in the middle. I just thought it'd be interesting to have them stick off the edge. Two, three, four. So there they go. Boom. You got a place to write. So now we just need to add ribbon. Boom, boom, boom. So what I've done, I have a full piece of cardstock. Um, you can use any color. I just grabbed, this is very vanilla. And I'm using the Wonder of the Season. This is the gold cord. I figure it's best for this. Um, I'm gonna start by putting the end near where it's open. I'm gonna wrap it. One, two, three, four. I probably got more than I want. I'm gonna cut this here. I'm gonna hold it like this. So here's the opening of the paper. I'm just gonna slide my Scissors, my paper trimmer, paper snips in, cut. Now I have cut strings of ribbon. And all I'm gonna do, now that I have them, is I'm gonna fold them in half, stick them from the back through the front, and then pull, pull. And I can attach all my ribbon super quick to um, the tags. Oh, but when you're tired, <laughs> oh, there we go. Boom. Oh, OK. 
Come on. There we go. So there are four quick gift tags that you can make. And when you're looking for quick uh, punches, I think are your f best way to go. Um, so these were quick and easy because I used two punches. Um, but I have another option. So here's another one I did. It's even easier and quicker. So here's just crumb cake. Same hole in the th in the um, tag to hold it on. And I just cut out with the punch for the mousse, cut out the mousse, and then just put a square of um, DSP behind it. This is a scrap when I was practicing. Um, so there's, and then put a stamp above it. So a really, really simple one. And then this one's a little more advanced, um, doesn't quite fall under the fast, um, but it's the same style. So you just cut your paper. I stamped, this is the whole um, stamp set with the uh, snowman. Um, I just stamped in the back, cut the snowman out and the greeting out with the die cuts, put a strip of DSP. Um, but it's the same uh, size. When you're making a lot of tags, you don't want to be maybe cutting the tags and doing the banner that's at the bottom, the little uh, sharks. So I figured it'd just be easier just to cut small little pieces of paper. So those are the quick and easy tags um, that you can do for your gifts. And you can do them, you know, not just for Christmas, for birthdays and what have you. So, and then you can bling them up you know, whatever you can stamp on the inside, whatever. So we're gonna do a the giveaway now. So give me two seconds. So you got a couple seconds to jump on. If you haven't, um, if you came on later, these are the giveaways for today. So right now we're gonna do the giveaway for the Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And all you need to do is leave a comment. You can just say hi. Um, if you don't win or you are watching this later, just uh, leave a comment on the original Crafty Stampin' and you will be entered to win the little Ladybug stamp set. So let me come over here and get, see if I can get this web page to work while we're live. <laughs> That's always fun. Da -da -da. So I will go back and read comments because um, <clears throat> I didn't get a chance because I was trying to show you kind of how fast it is to do those. Um, Okay, oh, here we go. All right, click, click, click. There's me. And it's this post. And get comments. Let's say, cross our fingers. It's worked the last few days or the last few times we've done this. All right, here we go. All right, bum, bum, bum. Let me make sure you can see it. All right. Oh, this one. All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit that start button and you're going to see a bunch of names like fly by and then it'll pop up and say the winner is and that will be the winner of our Blackberry Bliss stamp pad. So here we go. Bum, bum, bum. And the winner is Miriam Alexander Baker. Congratulations, Miriam. So if Miriam heads over to craftystampin.com and ah, go up to specials, giveaways, and then you come down here, there's a button, claim your prize. Click that, fill out the form, and I will get that in the mail to you. So I thank everybody for joining me. I hope you all have a, um, great weekend. I see a question. I am doing a product share for the upcoming mini and celebration. I'm in the process of figuring it out right now. So it should be up, I'd say before the weekend is over. Um, so I would love to have you join me. I will have paper, ribbon and embellishment and what I call a mega, which is everything. And I will have um, celebration papers in the uh, paper share. So I would you know, come back to Crafty Stampin'. I will put it up, get on my um, newsletter. That will, it'll be there as well. I thank you everyone for joining me. And like I said, I'll go back through questions um, and have a great day. I'll just see everybody next week. Bye.